Hello everyone, this is a, this is a program for finding even a raw number in a microprocessor program, assembly language programming in 8086 microprocessor. Now coming to finding the even a raw value by using message. So what is the use of message means? In C programming, we have two methods to enter the data. So first one is fixed value, second one is variable value. Fixed value means we are assigning a value in the variable declaration section. By variable value means we are using scanner function. By using scanner function, we have to get the value from the keyboard. So here there is no functions for input output functions. That means scanner and printf. Here they here we are going up only macros. So by using that macro, we have to enter the value in the runtime only. So here variable section, data segment section is there and variable section is, uh, port segment section is there. First, I'm explaining the program. After that, I will explain each statement in a program. So in the data segment, I am assigning data values as three, that is for message. For first one is message one is for entering number. Second message is for finding, entering a message, displaying a message for even number or odd number. So if the given number is even, then the message two will be displayed. If the num given number is odd, message three will be displayed. By using this data segment, I am displaying a macro. I'm using a macro. The syntax for macro is name of the macro by using the keyword macro keyword and argument list. Here my argument list is message, macro name is display, and macro is a keyword. Every macro will end with with a keyword and M. And M means nothing but end of the macro. Next one, port segment. We are assuming port segment is port, data segment is in the data, DS. So I am storing that port segment in the port segment register. Data is in the data segment register. So move. next one is start, starting of the program. Move AX comma data, move DS comma AX. These two statements are called as initialization statements. Next one, I am displaying a message one. So after come getting this message, cursor will go to the display macro message. So what is the message we have here means display is a macro name, message one is the argument list. So what is the argument list we are passing to the macro means message one. What is the message one? Message one contains message one DF, DB, defined by 10 comma 13. 10 comma 13 means I am taking the coordinates of the screen, 10th row, 13th column, the data will the message will be starts, enter starts. So enter number here. So 10th column, sorry, 10th row, 13th column, the message will be displayed. What is that message? Enter number here. This message will be displayed in the coordinators of, coordinators of 10th row, 13th column. Again, the cursor jump into the macro. So after going to the macro, here we have move AH comma 9. LEA is for load effective address of DX comma message. These two statements are used to move AH comma 9 and load effective address of load. LEA is for full form of LEA is load effective address of DX comma message. These two statements are used for displaying a message on a screen. So line value will should be copied into the AH register and the message will be stored in the DX register. So in the macros, we are calling interrupt21h and the end of the macro. So message will be displayed here. Message one will be displayed here. After that, I am entering to the cursor will jump into the move ah, comma one. Move ah, comma one. Initially, I'm assigning ah value is one. Next, I am calling interrupt21h. Next one, move ah, comma zero. Just here, we, we are moving ah values here. Next one, we are checking the number if the given number is even or odd first i am assigning the value so uh, how to get an even number or odd numbers any number is divided with two if remainder value is zero then that is even number if the remainder value is not zero that is the given number is odd number so i am moving the value into the real register two why because i am dividing the value every every, every value into the two so next divide real real value should be divided with the AX register. Whatever the data in the AX register, that can be divided with AL register. So here we are taking the AX register value is in the form of macro. 
So that value can be copied into the AX register and it will be divided with DL register. DL register already contains two. Two well, this value will be divided with AX register. If how to find in the even or odd. So whenever we are performing division operation, AX register contains two parts. AX register is also called as general purpose register. So a general purpose register AX is divided into two parts. What are the two parts means? AH and AL. The two parts are AH, AH register and AL register. AH register is for higher byte data and AL register is for lower byte data. Lower byte data is indicated with 0 to 7 and higher byte data is indicated with 8 to 15. So, Zero to fifty. Generally, in the C program, we have two operators, slash and percentile operator. So, slash operator gives position value, and percentile operator gives remainder value. So, for checking of even or odd number, we have to verify that either coefficient, sorry, remainder value by using the remainder value or coefficient value. So, here there is no operators in the microprocessor. So. How to get the remainder value and quotient value in the X value in the microprocessor means so AH register is stored in the remainder value and AL register is stored in the quotient value. For example, I am taking 19 is the my number. I am dividing 19 with 2. 2 nines are 18. 2 nines 18. And the remainder value is 0. Sorry, remainder value is 1. This one value is stored in the AH register. This one is stored in the AH register and nine is stored in the AL register. Again, the full data in the AX register is, AX register is 0, 1, 0, 9. So 0, 1 means the remainder value is one. I'm dividing the value and 0, 9 means that is the quotient value in the AX register. So now coming to this program. So I'm dividing this value, given value into the two value DL register. So DL register, obviously it is, it will take the dividend value in the X register. So division and multiplication obviously done in the AX register only. One, only one operand we are giving here. One operand is destination operand, source, sorry, source operand, destination operand will be the AX register, one byte instruction. It is a one byte instruction. Next one, DBL. Again, I am comparing with AX, AH as zero. Why? Because AH register contains remainder value. This remainder value I am comparing here. So if the compare, CMP is for compare AH comma zero. If AH register contains zero, AH equal to AH register is zero, then the given number is even. So now I am continuing with the values, continuing with the uh, statements. That is, if it is equal to zero, even one block is uh, executed. Otherwise, it will jump to the odd block. So even and odd done are the labels we are called in the we are called in our program. So even one means display message two. What is the message two? Display is a macro name. Message two is the argument name. Message two is even value is even number. Otherwise, it will jump into the odd number. Odd number contains display message 3. What is the display message 3? Given value is odd number. So this is the program for finding odd value and even value. And done is used for label name. Label name done is used for we are moving the values into the register. So any statements contains strings that can be copied into the register. So we have to write this statement ah, comma force ah and we have to call it in 21H. After completion of our program, code ends and start. This is the even number for finding even or odd number. Now, check the execution of this program.
edit event r dot asm dot asm edit even or r dot asm edit even or dot asm so this is the program for finding even or odd number now coming to execution so after completion of program i am exit the program next one is masm for checking with errors in our program so there is no errors again you have to link the file link event or exe file is created now we have to debug the file debug event or dot exe again output command is g enter the value here i am giving five so the given value is odd number Again, I am checking the even value, so I am giving our six. The given value is even. This is the program for finding even and odd. So, if you have any doubts, please comment on the comment section. Thank you.